お前は燃え死んでる。<笑> You're not dead, silly. You're as animated as I am. Wait, you didn't know what I was saying? And you're wondering why I'm making a pose? Have you not watched an anime before? That's okay, because luckily, that's what this episode is about. Bear with me now, because I'm about to get you guys hip. <laughs> get it? Because I have hips? No? That's okay. I'm not here to be a comedian, anyways. Continue on, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Owie. Say it with me now. I Owie. And I'm aspiring to become your favorite waifu. Give it a few more episodes and hopefully you'll be buying a poster or two of me. Okay, like I said, I'm not here to become a comedian. I'm here to become your favorite waifu. Well, I was hired to be a vlogger first. But that's not the point. I know that I'm currently using lingo that few of my viewers may not be familiar with. So, let me explain. To start, I was doing a post from a bizarre show ironically called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Like, really, it's very strange. I would only recommend it to my veteran watchers. But what I was saying was, you're already dead in Japanese. And for your own safety, please don't use that phrase outside of wherever you're watching the vlog. Anyways, where both of these things come from are from animations that people tend to call anime. Trust me. You're not the first, nor will be the last, to ask exactly what is anime. Unfortunately, both of the words cartoons and anime have become misconstrued with the rise of popularity with pop culture. But to continue on, anime, by the written definition, is an art style that originated in Japan with over stylized characters and plots. So, this means if it's not animated in Japan, then it's not an anime, correct? Well, unfortunately, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Because in Japan, any animation can be considered an anime, even if it doesn't originate. And that's because the word cartoon or animation didn't fully come into translation. In the culture of Japan. So when a Japanese person says anime in translation, they are simply just saying animation. But that doesn't mean just because they're asking if you watch anime that they're asking if you're watching a kid's show. You'll know what they're asking. Do you watch anime or? Do you watch anime? Even so, anime has since become more so the Japanese animation style for the most part. Meaning, as long as a production company makes the animation, no matter the location and declares that it's an anime, as long as it meets the criteria, then in retrospect, it can be considered an anime. For example, The Netflix series Castlevania was animated in the US. But not only did Netflix declare that it's an anime, but most of their fans wouldn't argue whether or not that it's an anime. Another animated show called Kalyoko is a French animation 
with its own distinct set of styles. Even though it gives familiarity to being somewhat of an off-brand Japanese style animation, I'm just gonna add one more show to prove my point. And the show is called Psychic Princess. The show is obviously spoken in Mandarin with Chinese culture styles, mannerisms, attire, and portrayals. Yet, if you've seen it on Crunchyroll, you may have gotten the show confused to be made by Japanese producers just because. So, in conclusion, anime is just Japanese for animation. But we will still continue to call the Japanese style of animation anime. Because trying to find out which is which will lead you to be more confused than you need to be. And for what? You're just trying to watch animations, right? Don't stress yourself, real people, or else I'll have to rehabilitate you. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Yours Truly. I hope you'll tune in for the next episode. And I hope you've been watching the anime I've been recommending to you. I do have a Western animation recommendation for you guys today. And it's called The Owl House. I've been watching it recently and it's super spectacular. It's on its third season and you can watch it on Disney Plus. Or cable, if you guys still have that. But that's it for today. See you next time! Mwah! Love you!